So from time to time, I'll spend some time with my niece and my nephew, and I'll show them a quick physics demonstration because I really want to instill a love of physics in them at a really young age. And recently, I showed them this. This is kind of a DIY Tesla coil from a past video of mine, and I used it to demonstrate a really crucial concept in physics, which is that you don't need to see energy in order for it to be there. Other than sparks, Tesla coils emit a tremendous amount of energy, and using a light bulb, you can see the intensity of the energy around the Tesla coil. If you have a plasma globe handy, you can do the same thing. And I'll always love that demonstration because it's super visual and really easy to do, and it looks pretty cool. But when I got home later, I got to thinking, what's a better way to visualize an electric field in a way that's quantitative so that you can measure its strength and maybe even see the shape of the electric field? And after a bit of thinking, I came up with this. It's a 10 by 10 array of neon bulbs that can image an electric field. This is a neon indicator light. It's full of neon and it turns red at about 80 volts. But it gets a lot brighter as it experiences more voltage, such as when it's brought near a Tesla coil. This is 100 neon lights, all wired together in such a way that they can show energy fields that are otherwise invisible. For example, here's the Tesla coil. You can see there's a strong field at the top and the bottom, and if you turn this sideways, you can also see the relative strength and how far out that field extends. Also, here it is next to a flyback power supply. You can see the electric field is in the shape of a sphere and is pretty strong out to about a foot and a half. It's a pretty cool display that gives you a general idea of what the electric field looks like around what you're trying to image, like that Tesla coil and that flyback transformer. So here's how it all works. First of all, the strength of radiated power decays with distance. Second, knowing that neon lights up at 80 volts and then only gets brighter as it experiences more voltage, you can use the brightness of the neon as a way to map the strength of the electric field over distance. That means a string of evenly placed neon lights can provide individual quantized steps of brightness at different distances from a power source. The neon lights that are brighter are experiencing the stronger electric fields, while those dimly lit or not lit are experiencing weaker fields. Hopefully that made some sense, but regardless, using a single string of neon lights, that's not going to provide much of an image, right? That's why I figure using a grid pattern similar to pixels on an image is probably going to provide the best results. That's why this prototype uses a 10 by 10 grid of neon lights. They're evenly spaced and wired in parallel, which allows them to easily absorb energy nearby. A display like this allows you to see some pretty interesting patterns that you might not have otherwise noticed. Watch the next two clips closely. What do you see? It looks like I have a high voltage at the base and a properly grounded Tesla coil shouldn't have that. So this is indicating I have really poor grounding. So because this thing can show an electric field, it can reveal grounding flaws. That's pretty cool. Anyways, here's this thing around the uh, high voltage flyback power supply. It's really interesting. As it's moved in and out, you can see the points at which the electric field is strong enough to ionize the neon. And as I mentioned earlier, it's pretty obvious to see that the electric field is in the shape of a sphere. But this was interesting. When I actually touched the neon lights, both ends lit up and there's a dead spot in the middle. So let me know in the comments down below if you know what's happening. Overall, I'm really pleased with the results because it kind of speaks for itself. It shows an energy field that you wouldn't otherwise see. As a friend of mine coined it, it's basically a high voltage light bright. And I imagine there's probably professional equipment out there somewhere that is able to image an electric field, but considering this was such a simple build and it only uses neon indicator bulbs, I had to show you. And I am working on one that's a heck of a lot bigger. It's going to be a 30 by 30, but that's going to take some time. So in the meantime, tell me what you thought in the comments down below about this whole concept and let me know if you have any suggestions whatsoever. Also, if you want to encourage longer, more frequent uploads, please consider supporting me on Patreon or check out the merch I have below every video. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.